Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Merry Christmas Eve and it's Christmas time. So that means we have a massive spring candle haul from Bath & Body Works, yes. So a lot of the stores around my area were putting out spring candles. So I was like, you know what? It stays like the last day of the 1950 sale and I don't wanna wait an entire like four weeks of SAS before I can buy these candles at whatever the next sale price is. So let me just get them now and call it a day. And that's what I did. I also found one store that had uh, these candles in uh, and they didn't have very many of them. So I did have an exchange exchange uh, and I just exchanged out for this so we'll talk about that as well as the other ones that I didn't buy as well uh, but before we get into the haul check out my fun the candle channel corded crew slash sweatshirt that I have here uh, my friend who has her own clothing brand uh, at shopkirsten.com I'll link it down below uh, she was so kind enough to actually give this to me for Christmas and I was just like totally surprised and delighted uh, and it was just like so thoughtful for her to like actually like make one of her corded crews and sweatshirts uh, and like personalize it for me and I was just totally tickled fancy so I just wanted to wear it and it's just so comfy and cozy and I don't normally wear like these kind of like relaxed sort of baggy fit clothing but it's super comfy and nice just like lounge around the house especially when it's like cool outside it's just it's just almost like you have a blanket on so if you want to check out her stuff go to shopkirsten.com there's other like positive affirmation like sayings is what she uh, mostly has obviously like not the candle channel is not on there uh there's other sayings and uh stuff that you can check out on her website no affiliate link or no kind of kickback or anything like that so yeah uh but in any case uh, yes, so today, the 24th, so I've noticed this in past years, and I think I've done this a few years ago as well, where I'll go in on the 24th, and what happens is, for Candle Day, because Candle Day is so many days now, the stores tend to get really wiped out that they normally don't have enough candles to last all the way until the 24th, and like, especially the stores that have the big white, bar white barn side-by-side -side stores, where the white barn is in its entire, like, store as well, and it has, like, so many shelf shelving units, those tend to get, like, completely empty empty and like just absolutely no product to put on there that those stores usually will start putting out the spring stuff early uh, as they come in um, from shipment and that's what happened today and so I saw most of the new spring candles that I wanted today so I grabbed it except for one which I'll talk about at the end that I could not find even though I did try my very darnest to be able to locate that one but no such luck but I'm still super happy to get the other one so yeah so yeah I did spend $19.50 on them, which when you think about it, in comparison to a 10 off sale on the $26.95 price point candles, that's what, like $16.95, so $17, so it's only $2.50 more to be able to get them I don't know, a few weeks earlier because otherwise we would have to wait for the entire SAS to finish this like three to four weeks or whatever until we finally get another all candle sale. Uh, so I love spring. It's my favorite season. So oftentimes I would just splurge uh, on the 1950 price point and just buy them just so I can enjoy them early and start reviewing them for my channel uh, and just make it a fun little like Christmas journey and present to myself uh for christmas so i was super excited to find the spring candles this time around and that's what we did uh so without further ado let me get right into it uh yeah so I found Hummingbird Tea Cake right here. That's what that looks like. A super handsome packaging on that. I love that. Oh my gosh. Um, and that's what that looks like. Pineapple Cake Batter, Cinnamon Spice, and Toasted Pecans. Uh, and this one is White Wax with the flat curling wicks on it. And that's what that looks like in there. This is not at all what I expected actually I don't really know well first of all I didn't really know what a hummingbird cake was but then on my Instagram lives people were saying that it's an actual real cake with a recipe that usually has like pineapple and these uh you know notes in there and I was like okay well that sounds kind of interesting and then so I was like well could it be like pineapple crumb cake that we had that one year um I think we actually had it two years it was in that like yellow white barn core jar as well as that like wrap around more whimsical one that we had and that one was kind of like a sort of crumbly streusel topping with a pineapple cake fragrance is what that had. So cinnamon spice and pineapple could definitely make sense in terms of it being a repackage. Uh, but this does not smell like pineapple crumb cake to me. Um, and I was like, well, it could be like pineapple cream puff, which is more of that sort of crayon artificial uh, sort of waxy plasticky fragrance. It doesn't smell like that either. Uh, or we had the vanilla passion fruit cupcake, which was also very similar to pineapple cream puff. It's not quite that. Uh, we have pineapple pound cake, of course, which had that very like um, sour note to it, but it was actually super delicious and scrumptious when you go to burn it. It's not that either. Uh, and then we had like spiced pineapple samba, which kind of smelled like a pineapple upside down cake. It's not that either. Uh, but this, honestly, it reminds me more of banana bunk cake than anything else. I was like, this smells so similar to me or familiar. And 
even though it doesn't list banana as a note, it smells like banana slices with pineapple and then like the cake and sort of like that sort of spicy nutty cake that we got from banana bunk cake and so i have a banana bunk cake from the original release which it just oh my god it just will not burn anymore it's just like just totally tunnels and like the wicks just completely disintegrate sweet banana toasted walnut and fresh cinnamon so yeah that's not honestly too different from the cinnamon spice and toasted pecans of a hummingbird tea cake yeah they're actually quite similar this is just a little less warm and nutty than banana bunk cake is but they're like kind of like sibling fragrances yeah this one's still more distinctly banana and more nutty but they share a similarity you know it's bath and body work so a lot of the candles tend to smell the same yeah um it's like I smell like just a creamy, like whipped cream, like layer with like banana slices on it. And then maybe a little bit of pineapple in there. Uh, it's not overly uh, spicy, um, but there's a, definitely a little bit of a nuttiness. I don't know. It's like a creamier, lighter version of banana bun cake to me um, with maybe perhaps a little bit more pineapple and less banana. Uh, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Maybe it'll, it'll like become better when you go to burn it. But that's hummingbird tea cake right there. The other one in that collection, uh, I just love the entire, oh my god, the greenhouse collection. Just like the packaging and all of it just absolutely snatched. It's so pretty like all together. And I love that it's like a actual true kind of floral springtime collection that we're getting. Uh, like instead of going straight into tropical uh, like they often do. So it's nice to see an actual proper spring uh, collection and release first. Uh, but in any case, Backyard Honeysuckle, oh my god, I love this too. Just has like a farmhouse feel to it. And that's what that looks like. Uh, and yeah sweet honeysuckle orange flower blossom and neroli nectar and I was thinking uh, a while back I was like oh my god they have stopped releasing all those honeysuckle candles that we used to get all the time so we used to get like sweet honeysuckle I think was there like a wild honeysuckle at one point and there was also honeysuckle bouquet we had a variety of honeysuckle fragrances and they would kind of be in rotation and they would all kind of smell the same they just smell like traditionally like that honeysuckle fragrance that bbw does uh and i liked it at first but then it kept coming out so much that i was just kind of like okay it's always going to be out i don't need to get it anymore and then bam it just like went away forever and we haven't had honeysuckle in a very long time we had a honeysuckle peach spritz, but that wasn't really truly a honeysuckle fragrance. That was so much stronger on the peach fragrance uh, that I was just like, oh, we don't really have a honeysuckle anymore. And then bam, here we have a honeysuckle fragrance. So this is it's very similar to all the other honeysuckles that we had. So if you missed out on wild honeysuckle or whatever it was, or honeysuckle bouquet, uh, and if you are familiar with that fragrance, immensely similar. It's that sort of sweet floral fragrance that has almost like a, a like a nutty quality to it and like a almost like a honey nut type of feel but it's that traditional very floral honeysuckle fragrance for sure but their honeysuckle just seems tends to have this sort of like sort of sweetness sort of chilling in the background as well um but this one says the orange flower blossom and neroli nectar honestly their honeysuckle has always had like a very white floral feel to it so I can totally get the orange flower and neroli uh, aspect in there. But it really just smells like all the other honeysuckles that they've had before, except they just chose to highlight the orange flower blossom and the neroli this time around because it might just be more trendy or popular these days. But yeah, it's just a beautiful white floral honeysuckle blend that we've all known from BBW. So yeah, there's nothing more to, to say about it, but I'm just like happy to be reunited with the honeysuckle fragrance again uh it just smells so nostalgic to like back in the day when i used to buy them so backyard of honeysuckle right there uh yes and then there's a whole entire like beautiful like paneled tile collection of candles that are so pretty and snatched like one of my favorite packaging collections ever from bath and body works i just can't believe it like the flower child is so beautiful fresh cut lilacs eucalyptus rain it's just all so immensely pretty there's almost like this slight sort of like iridescence uh, almost like a shell type of uh like finish to the outside of it and it has the galvanized lid lids on it oh my god it's just so pretty and like this like greenhouse floral feel that i love so much the only issue is they're all repackages so i was just like ah, oh, like eventually i will want one of these because the packaging is just so pretty but 
I don't need any of them because they're, right now, especially for 1950, because they're all repackages. So Flower Child is back, Eucalyptus Rain, Springtime in Paris, Fresh Cut Lilacs. Um, there might be another one that I'm missing, but they're all repackages and they all smell the same as they normally do. So I didn't buy any of them just because I just don't want to spend 19.50 on a repeat fragrance. But once that gets to like a really lower price, later into the season, I'll probably at least snatch maybe the Fresh Cut Lilacs. It's probably my favorite Fresh Cut Lilacs packaging ever. It's just absolutely beautiful. I just can't even. So there was that collection. Uh, there's also the other Greenhouse collection, which I also love the packaging on this. Uh, it has this beautiful like William Morris like fabric print uh, on it. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, that's what that looks like. Greenhouse Fern, which is Lush Bergamot, Violet Leaves, and Jasmine Blooms. This is the only new one that we have in the entire collection. Blue Orchard Skies is back. Lavender Vetiver, uh, Bergamot, and Birch, I think. I think there's maybe only four in the collection. I was just like, oh, this is kind of boring. So I just got the one new one that's here. But honestly, after having smelled it here back at home, I don't even know if I'll keep this. I might exchange it for the one other one that I'm still waiting on. Uh, but yeah, Greenhouse Fern right here. Yeah, it's not bad. You definitely get like a sort of sweet citrus floral fragrance is what I get from it. Like the bergamot is in there in a very zesty sort of like citrus type of fragrance. If I had to compare it to anything, I would say springtime in Paris is very similar to this. It's that sort of like fruity floral blend that BBW does that's kind of more like a fantasy fragrance. This doesn't really actually smell like ferns or a greenhouse or dirt or soil, nothing at all like that. It's not really authentic to any of that kind of feel. It's definitely a fantasy fragrance. I would say springtime in Paris is kind of close. It's not quite sunshine and daffodils, but think of that sort of like, once again, sort of citrus floral, like a bright floral uh, feel to it is in here. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. But it's just one of those kind of like springtime in Paris, Paris type of, it could almost be like shampoo or like hair product kind of fragrance to it, which, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. It's a, it has a little bit of like a sort of refreshing crispness to it for sure, but I'm kind of undecided on it. We'll see. So that's Greenhouse Fern right here. But yeah, if you're looking for a true garden fragrance or greenhouse, dirt, soil, fern, to totally not it. Uh, so that was that entire collection. Uh, then we have the new neutrals collection and the um, one that I was really excited for was the wild rose and suede and that's what that looks like right there. Uh, and so we have pink tea rose, soft suede and warm amber and it's the same notes on the bottom. It has white wax with the coral wicks on it. And I was like, oh my God, what is this gonna be? Cause wild rose and suede, like you could think it might be pink rose on leather because this is hello pink rose plus like a, you know, leather so it could be similar to it it's totally not this is way more leathery and more smells like a handbag than the wild rose and suede ever does so it's totally not that um but yeah you definitely get a rose in there it's sort of powdery and more subdued it almost comes off a little bit like like a sweet soapy type of feel is what i get from this overall uh but it reminds me a whole lot of that sort of like powdery that powdery velvety texture that we get from Vanilla Musk, which is the same fragrance as Marshmallow Musk. It was just repackaged. And this one, of course, has the suede musk in here as well. Um, and yeah, it, this is much sweeter and much more like gourmand because that vanilla is so like marshmallow -y. Uh But it has a similar texture that this does and that sort of like powdery velvety fragrance that I really enjoy. So that is kind of shared in there. Uh, but you also get a kind of a similarity to the salted amber and vetiver candle and that's what that looks like. Uh, and this was the salted amber uh, fragrance was in here. And yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like these two mixed with like a sort of subdued rose fragrance. It smells soapy. Almost, it's not quite as soapy as like the pink like Dove bar soap, but you know how there's that pink bar, bar soap Dove uh, fragrance. It's not quite that, but it has a similar sort of like soapy like skin fragrance quality that salted amber and vetiver and vanilla musk has. Yeah, it's not overly like uh like mature rose that you would get from you know like you're the one is like a heavy like perfume traditional perfume rose fragrance no 
this it has a it has a powderiness and a prettiness that you can attribute to rose for sure but the other notes are definitely uh like amped up more um but yeah it's it's just in a family of that it kind of smells a little bit soapy like a skin fragrance uh kind of like clean and neutral almost i wouldn't mind if the rose on this was just dialed up way more and I would really enjoy it, but I still enjoy it more than I thought I would. So that was Wild Rose and Suede right there. So we'll see how that does. Uh, the other ones in that collection, there's a Blue Lime and Verbena, totally boring, just some kind of like uh, herbal fragrance that I just didn't care for because like the, the thyme in there was uh, quite strong. Um, yeah, just not, not much to say about that. Um, what else was there? That sweet orange and agave thing. Um, what were the notes on that? Let's see. That was effervescent citrus, golden agave, and jasmine musk. That literally smelled like the usual, um, what is it? Sunwa citrus, indigo paradise type of that volcano dupe fragrance. Uh, total pass on that. Um, let's see what else was going on here. I think that was pretty much the extent of that collection. Uh, we had the... We also had the whipped raspberries and vanilla, which is just unicorn sprinkles repackaged, so we don't need that. Pink lavender espresso is back, but I still have that from last year, so I don't need that either. And I think that rounded out the neutrals collection. Nothing, oh, like white tea and sage, just boring. Uh, so not too much going on there either. So that was that collection. Uh, then it leaves us with the other release. Um, actually, wait, no, there's the... The collection Almond Croissant is what I was really looking for, but none of the stores had it, even though they had the majority of the rest of that collection in there. It's like the ugly wraparound with like the diamond on it and like the, the patterns are all just kind of like not consistent. Uh, but like Fresh Sheets is back, uh, Sweet Red Mango, Amethyst Dreams is back, believe it or not. Um, I actually like that fragrance, but it was just very unscented last year. So if it goes cheap again this year, I might try it again just to see if it has improved throw. Uh, Sweet Red Mango. Prosecco and Peaches is also supposed to come out, but I haven't seen that one yet. Wild Berry Jam Donut is also supposed to come out, but I haven't seen that one in store yet either. Coconut Sandalwood. Um, Sweet Amalfi Lemon is back as well. That was the one that we had last year. It's just like a zesty lemon fragrance. Super boring. Don't need that. Um, and then... Uh, Almond Croissant is the one exciting new juicy one. I, I could not find that one at any of the stores, even though they had a lot of the other ones in that collection already out. So there was that collection. And then finally, that leaves us with the single fragrance launch for this coming spring. And that is Cal Calypso Clementine right here. And that's what that looks like. So this one has a more of a tropical feel to it. Uh, and this one says Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. Uh, this has the thick rope like wicks on it right there. I was super excited for this when I saw the notes of Clementine and Neroli. But after having it in my possession, I'm not a huge fan of it. This... It's interesting that this is even going to be a, like, single fragrance launch. So their single fragrance launches usually tend to lean way more perfumey and, like, women's fragrance. But this has such a dirty component to it. It has that, like, dirty wood fragrance that you get from, like, uh, almost like a vetiver fragrance. Or I guess in this case, it's the Coastal Woods in here. Um, almost like the dirtiness you get from, like, cilantro. You know, that, like, sort of, like, gritty, dirty feel that you get from it. That woodsy dirtiness is, like, so strong in this. And, like, normally their single fragrance launches have, like, floral or heaps of fruit. But this just, it really leans more masculine, like, neutral, like, woodsy, dirty, gritty. Mixed with a juicy clementine. Um, yeah. I just don't, I don't love how dirty or woodsy the Coastal Woods is in this. And then the Neroli Nectar, um... And the really can sometimes give it like a metallic quality to it. And this certainly has that sort of metallic quality with the dirtiness. Um, and it makes it just even more unpleasant to my nose than like if the Neroli was like the sea salt Neroli or like an orange blossom fragrance with a beautiful white powdery floral. You don't really get that in here. It's like the, the, the metallic quality of Neroli that you get. Uh, and then mixed with the Clementine. Yeah. Um, totally not what I expected. It just smells like a dirty orange. Uh, so not, not too jazzed about that, but it's still new. And it, I was like, I, I, I can get it early, so I'm just going to get it. So, uh, we'll see how it does. So Calypso Clementine right here. Just, I just can't imagine wanting to use this as body wash, but it's here. So that was that. And lastly, that brings us to this lone candle from, it was like a Earthy Delights or something like that it was called, I think. And it was a test collection. 
was this in the Nashville test stores rather than the Atlanta ones? I don't quite remember. But in any case, we had a test collection of these candles in here. It was all those like weird whack ass fragrances that's like very similar to that one that we got earlier this year during the springtime and it had like that hemp fragrance in there and the sweet peach and rhubarb and the basil and spearmint. It's very much that variety of fragrance that I really don't enjoy. I have to say that entire collection of candles that I made a test run for. I don't really enjoy any of them or use any of them. I just got caught up in the hype and bought them. Uh, and the majority of these were like that. Like I really wouldn't even need this one. I just got it because I saw it and it's like a test package. And as a collector, I just want, you know, if I, if I see it and come across it, I want to get it. So I had a candle day exchange candle with me. So I exchanged it for this, but I would suspect these, these are being sent out probably for SAS. So they should be whatever the 1095 price point, I think is what it is in the first day that if you come across it on the first day of SAS, you might be able to get it for 1095. So, uh, just do that obviously. Uh, but in any case, Yes, so there was this Anise and Tonka Bean one right here. I think there's more in the collection, but there were only three fragrances um, at the location that I was at. And they had, um, what is it? Earl Grey and Turmeric. Oh, oh my God, nasty. I just, you're not missing out on anything if you like wanted to get that one, unless you want to smell dirt. It just smelled really like dirty again. It just literally smelled like soil or dirt uh, and just like not not nice or pleasant whatsoever. I just don't want my house to smell like that. Uh, it didn't smell like a, Earl, like a beautiful, like don't think like London Fog Latte, like Earl Grey Tea Latte. Don't really think that. Um, it was just like metallic and dirty. I just didn't really care for it whatsoever. Uh, so that stayed right there. And then the other one that the store had was Moss and Black Pepper. It's just kind of like a, a inoffensive cologne fragrance is how that came off. The moss was definitely present in there uh, that it smelled sort of like mossy uh -huh. and then there was a black pepper component and just overall it just kind of smelled like a generic like clean cologne fragrance uh totally didn't need that um it wasn't like it's not at all like boathouse row which i think has moss in it uh kind of similar to black pepper bergamot but that one had more of a shaving cream component to it that's not quite that either but closer to black pepper bergamot than it is anywhere to boathouse row boathouse row is way more juicy and awesome so that was that one and the third one which was the most palatable, I guess. I was just like, I'm here and the store's like, it's within driving distance, but I don't really frequent it. It's like, I have to make a trip to the location that I was just like, I'm here and I have an exchange candle. Let me just like get this one and be done with it in case I don't see this candle anywhere else in my SAS journeys. This was the only store as of today that had this, uh, that I've seen anywhere in my region. So it is indeed the Anise and Tonka B1 right here. Uh, and it has like a amber jar on it, which I enjoy. It's kind of like the, the old school room therapy candles that we had. Uh, star anise seed, creamy marshmallow and rich Tonka bean. This, I don't love licorice and this smells like licorice. Um, but, it, it, but despite that, it's the most like palatable, I guess, gourmand-ish. It, it smells like, like a licorice jelly bean because there is a little bit of like a sweetness from that creamy marshmallow and the rich Tonka bean. And Tonka usually gives it like sort of a vanilla, uh, undertone to it. And yeah, it's like a, uh, anise and vanilla fragrance. So pretty much like a licorice fragrance is what it smells like. Um, and yeah, I just really, I just really don't care for licorice or anise in general, but I'm like, well, if I want, I guess to smell my house to smell like licorice jelly beans for Easter time, maybe it was just the, the most, the least worst of the ones that were there. And I just wanted to get one cause it was a test candle. So anise and tonka being right there, but yeah. Ooh, girl, if you like, 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 like the, the fragrances that I normally enjoy or like bakery, cutesy, frilly stuff, don't even, don't even like, you know, pay any mind to this collection. So that was that right there. Uh, and then they also actually had the re-release of the Oud test collection. So I think I got the entire Oud collection for 75% off last winter SAS. And now they have like a re-release version of it that they released back out to the stores again for whatever reason, which was weird to the test stores. And now those are trickling into stores for SAS as well. And so that store also had a selection of those. Um, I think they had Scotch Lounge previously got renamed as Scotch and Oud. It like, it's so much more satisfying now to have something plus Oud considering the collection was supposed to be an Oud collection. 
So it's weird that we had like Spa Day, Sunrise Marina, and uh, Scotch Lounge that did not follow that naming convention, but they have renamed them to fit that naming convention. So Scotch Oud is what Scotch Lounge was, and that was there. Um, I think Jasmine Oud was what Spa Day was, and that just smelled like Spa Day like it did before. Um, and then some the other dark amber and oud i think was also there as well i didn't really care for the oud collection either so i didn't get any of those uh but it was just interesting to see that at that store as well so you might potentially see those for sas but honestly both collections you're not missing out on anything if you don't come across those unless you like the more dirty earthy conceptual fragrances uh then you might really enjoy them but personally i, I don't like those at all so that was that but that was it. So Merry Christmas Eve. It was super fun to like just go around to the stores and see what I could find in terms of new spring releases. And also finding this was fun too. Um, I will probably make around obviously um, after Christmas for SAS, which is on the 26th, uh, to see what I can find there. But judging by the inventory levels that the stores had today, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff to be had um if that's the leftover candle uh selection but yeah so i'll start burning these spring ones spring is my favorite uh season so i'm super jazzed for it i just need to look for almond croissant and then i'll be kind of set um but it's also kind of weird because now i have no new springness spring newness to look forward to uh because i bought the majority of them for at least the first phase but it is what it is so that's pretty much it so yeah, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody out there, uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!